Hello friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. I have a project in here that is just more or less routine and I wasn't planning on filming it unless I ran across something unique and unfortunately I ran across something unique. Not that big a deal, but I just thought I'd show it to you. This is a, might as well show you first, it's a Tacoma guitar. I've seen quite a few Tacoma mandolins lately and I've seen a Tacoma guitar or two in the past, but it's been a while. This one here had a cracked bridge across here, and that's the only structural problem I saw on the outside, aside from the fact that it's got a couple of cracks along these edges, and this, and this finish is peeling. Well, you know, the customer's not too concerned about this, and to be honest, that doesn't seem to move, so I'm not too worried about that crack either myself. And the same way on this side, same kind of peeling problem. But I thought, well, you know, since I've got it here, got the strings off of it, I might as well just do a little inspection inside. And I'm glad I did because look at what I found. Let's see if you can get in there on the mirror and see it. There it is. I think you can see it there. There's a, that brace, X brace is cracked. And uh, it's cracked on the one side, and it's fairly significantly raised up there, you can see. So we'll fix that. It's not that big a deal to fix or anything, but I'm glad I caught it while it was in the shop here. I know you're not going to be able to actually see me applying this glue, but you can see my technique here. I've got a pipette, and I've squeeze glue up in it and I can just get that pipette in there perfectly right in the crack. Just getting some more glue in there. It's it's squeezing it kind of like a syringe would squeeze it back in there and a syringe would work too. And I may even possibly go to that but uh, this seems to be working fine. Yeah, I've got quite a bit of glue in there. I'm going to take this brush now that I'm pretty sure, yep, it fits right in the slot really good. And I'm just painting the glue along the crack really well. Sticking the brush all the way through the crack there to make sure that there's good even coating everywhere. I can also get behind the end of the brace where it's lifted there and the end of the brace and I can glue that too. I think it's fine. Looks pretty good. See that it's got glue all the way. And now I should be able to, yep, I can squeeze it together and I can pump it there and I can see the glue pumping through. So now I'm just going to wipe off the excess glue and then we'll clamp it up. You can see I've got a piece of leather here on the top and the, the clamp itself also has a little piece of leather on it, and then I put leather here just to give it like a double pad. The clamp on the inside has leather as well. Not that it would make much difference in there, but you know, you could, it just avoids crushing the uh, brace so much. Well, drop my little rag down in there, but other than that, I think we've got it cleaned up real nice. We can let that set for a few hours, and we should be good to go. Well, we got that little Tacoma's problem all fixed. It, uh, you can't really see it in there, I don't think, but that cross brace is uh, fixed up there. It looks just fine. I went to, you know, the extra lights on this, uh, which are the MFX uh, 775 by Martin. That's the ones that I use. And, uh, you know, I think it woke the guitar up, to be honest. Some guitars just don't need heavy strings or medium strings. And this guitar, by the way it's braced, you can just tell it's a light bracing guitar. Um, in case you own one of these, this one's a Tacoma DM10 is what this is. Listen to that. And that's, those are the, uh, you know, custom light strings. really nice. It doesn't need medium strings at all. We put an antler saddle on there too. Hope you enjoyed that little snippet. Thanks for watching.